everybody and welcome to my channel this is Leslie and today I'm sharing a layout with you that I'm making for the paper issues design team and the challenge is to use a rainbow in your layout and I have decided to use the doodlebug hello collection because of all the vibrant bright um, beautiful colors in this collection and I have already before I um, hit record I sorted out the two ephemera packs into their different colors so there's a yellowy orange color and then the green the light blue dark blue dark pink and light pink so that I could see which um, uh, embellishments I could use um, in the rainbow that I would like to create on my page now I have a very specific idea of what I want to do I'm going to be placing my picture sort of dead center in the page I was thinking of maybe off centering it a little bit but then with the composition I was planning on doing it wouldn't have worked so the idea that I had was to use um, only the bits in the um, the two ephemera packs so there's the um, odds and ends ephemera pack and then the chit chat ephemera pack so I'm basically just going to be going and um, uh, sort of I don't know what you could say this not color blocking but <laughs> putting all the colors together in a um, as rainbow um, uh, arrangement as I can. So most of these little um, uh, words, word bubbles have little um, these little tabs on them and I cut them off. So I start off with the yellow and I just play around with some of the bits and then I go on to the green and the light blue is going to be sort of over the photo you'll see what I'm planning on doing there the dark blue is going to be at the bottom of the photo um, and then obviously the dark pink and light pink will be below the photo so this layout came together really quickly I basically decided what I wanted to put where and um, I wasn't uh, afraid of using all those big words and I know that they are well they could be used for titles on your pages but you know what I got this collection I made I think two or three pages with it and I still have so much left of it so I decided um, why not use as much of this collection or these um, bits of ephemera as I can so I wasn't afraid to use all those big title words in this on this page so this is also a great way to bash your stash if you have a big collection in your stash and you have lots of bits of ephemera organize them in 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 sort of in their colors and then just use them on a page in a rainbow layout and um, that that gets rid of a lot of a lot of bits um, in a collection and um, you'll see after I've used um, all of this I still have so much of this collection left <laughs> I will still be able to do um, a lot with it I was thinking of making a mini album with the bits that I've left I still have the 12 by 12 paper pad or the pack and the the word stickers the 12 by 12 stickers um, so I still have a lot on this pack and a lot of these prompts in this um, in the ephemera packs so are basically um, you can use them on cards uh, there's a lot of happy birthday um, little uh, prompts and, um, and and so and I was thinking of maybe doing a, a couple of cards pop-up cards I love to do pop-up cards so this is what I have in my head for this collection but for today I'm just going to be doing a rainbow layout and I was thinking now if I have all these large title pieces on my layout what will my title be I mean you know <laughs> happy lovely smile me and you and I'm going to put that big pink word beautiful um, below the me and you as well so what will be my title in, in the end and then I just thought well it's me and the girls just sitting I was um, sitting on the floor with Lucy between my legs I she's still a bit wonky when she sits she she sort of kicks back so I still have to you know put her between my legs and um, just have her sit on the ground so that she can sort of learn how to sit and then Emma decided to squeeze in between us and um, we were just all three of us <laughs> Lucy was sitting in between Emma's legs Emma was sitting in between mine so <laughs> we were just sitting on the floor I think it was two days ago and I decided how about we take a selfie and 
this turned out really cute. Lucy has her thumb in her mouth and um, Emma's giving her beautiful smile. So um, I thought, well, this is of me and my girls. And I thought, okay, well, then I'm just going to choose the, the, the title, Me and You, um, for this, for this um, layout. Now, you guys know I'm not very hot on titles. I don't always, it doesn't always occur to me to put a title on my page. And, um, you know, if, if, if I do have a title on my page, it is very generic sometimes. Um, I don't feel I have to put a title on my page. Um, I know some scrapbookers say that it is one of the rules of scrapbooking and, and um, I also don't follow any like rules. Um, I just go with what my head feels right with at the moment or at that moment I'm creating it. Um, you know, um, sort of if, if you have to balance out your layout or if you need to bring in some more pink on this side because there's pink on the other side, things like that. I go with my gut and um, I don't always follow the rule of thirds. I don't um, always follow um, uh, the, the rule that there has to be journaling even. I, I don't journal on, on my layouts. <laughs> if there's something special, I, you know, most of the time I'll do hidden journaling. And um, so for this layout, I think I make up for all those layouts I don't have any titles on. So this, <laughs> this layout has all the titles. <laughs> Maybe I should have called this layout all the things, all of it. <laughs> so that's basically what my page is going to look like. I really like the arrangement. And I thought I'd better take a photo of this with my iPad that was sitting in front of me. I watch Netflix most of the time I do this. So I have to take a photo because I'm not going to get it back the same way. Or if I do it, you know, I, I really like the way I arranged it there. So um, I did want to do something on the background. That's why I took a photo to, you know, to, to make sure that I've got. So I did some stitching. I had this idea that I wanted to do some um, colorful stitching in the background, sort of to match the colors of the, of the, um, of the, uh, the collection however my sewing machine is on its way out it is seriously I mean the other day I was sewing with it and boop, the light bulb pops out and then another screw sort of drops from the top of the sewing machine and um, it won't do certain zigzags anymore and it won't um, do some of the other <laughs> little <laughs> Um, patterns anymore that it does and it loses stitches and sometimes the bobbin doesn't catch the top thread and ah uh, yeah I think I think it's um I think it's on its way out um you can see that um, some of those um uh, big thread nests that I've got going on there I did on purpose and some of them I didn't do on purpose it's just my sewing machine having a spaz now um luckily my bobbin played along with me today but um no, it, I think it is time for me to get a new sewing machine. I did buy it secondhand, so I'm sure that the lady that did have it before gave it a good run, and I've given it quite a good run. I've made quite a couple of memory quilts for my kids, and, and, and I've stitched quite a couple of school costumes, school things with it, and um, lots of paper layouts. So I think it is time to get a new one. Hopefully I'll get one soon. So you'll see, I'm just placing the, um, the, the, the color on color embellishments, sort of I'm trying to match where I uh, sewed the specific color to put the, 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 the color embellishment on top of that. So, and yeah, I, it's very subtle in the back. Um, it does add a lot of texture. I love all the little loose, loose ends, the little threads at the end. And um, you'll see that it, um, where I stick down a little flower, I'm going to try and make a little thread nest, um, you know, below the flower or um, underneath the flower as I stick it down. Um, if there is thread in that area where I stick down the flower, in, at least. So I'm going to try and sort of cluster the threads together just to give it a bit more order. And you'll see that I'm going to do that now with that little flower. I'm just going to sort of bunch up the threads and stick it on there. And then it looks like the thread is making a little nest for the flower. Most of the prompts, I am um, like those little word bubbles. I stick, I um, do uh, 
uh, put some uh, foam adhesive, some dimensional adhesive on the back, just so that there's a little bit more dimension in the layout. My photo, I am going to be sticking down on some foam adhesive, and I do double adhesive. Um, I've had some experience lately where my foam dots dry out. Now, I'm not sure if it's just the climate that we are living in, and it's just too hot and they dry out really soon, or if it's the quality of the foam squares that I'm using or the adhesive squares that I'm using, I'm not sure, but I am going to be double adhesiving, <laughs> double gluing <laughs> um, these, these embellishments. So yeah, the rest of it's basically just sticking it down. I think all in all this took literally like half an hour to put this layout together. The, the, the actual layout took me probably like five minutes, but that stitching, because my sewing machine kept on breaking the thread and losing the thread. I had to re-thread my sewing machine probably about 50 times, R really. Um, I'm not, you know, <laughs> um, exaggerating. It, uh, and, and, and it took a lot of prayer from my side to keep calm and, you know, to not lose it completely and throw it out the window. <laughs> so, because every time I just start sewing, oops, the thoughts, the thread breaks and then I've got to re-thread it and then it breaks and then yeah 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 sometimes we are tested and I've been really praying about it and asking God to help me to have more patience and then as soon as I started sewing I'm like ah oh, there you go <laughs> there you go <laughs> so this is to teach me to have more patience <laughs> so anyway this layout um uh, came together really quickly however I had to have a lot of patience with this with this layout so I learned something as well with this layout um you know it's not necessarily the sewing machine's fault it's nobody's fault it's just the way it is at the moment so I hope that sometimes when you guys go through a struggle as well and when things aren't going your way in the day and something um uh to exercise patience and um see even my pen stopped working and <laughs> all of that but I think patience goes a long way especially patience with our kids hey anyway I hope you like what you see and if you like what you see please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon bye